kindly remain standing for the school song Thank you. Please be seated. I request Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar to lead us in prayer. Shall we look to God in prayer? Gracious God, a loving Heavenly Father, we thank you for this blessed day. Our hearts are filled with exceeding joy to celebrate and give thanks for every graduating student of our kindergarten. We are grateful to you for blessing us with Bishop Cotton Girls School, which is ranked number one in India. We adore you for this lively center for sound learning, new discovery, and pursuit of wisdom. We praise you for our chairman, Right Reverend Dr. Prasanna Kumar Samuel, the bishop of the Karnataka Central Diocese. We thank you for his leadership and for his guidance. We thank you for the members of the Board of Management for their initiatives and direction. We sincerely thank you for our principal, Dr. Lavanya Mitran, the faculty members, the staff of this great institution who find you to be the source of all truth and for their sincere services to groom each student in their pursuit of excellence. Bestow your rich blessings on the chief guest for the special occasion, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, the Bishop Amma of the Karnataka Central Diocese. Use her to minister to each one of us, inspire, motivate, and uplift the spirit of learning in each one of us. Today we rejoice with the graduating class. We thank you that each one is unique and brimming with potential. We thank you for their parents and the members of the family who have great love for them, encouraging them in every manner to pursue excellence. Thank you for leading each of these children in their learning, for keeping them safe as they studied, and for watching over them all these years. We pray that they will all feel proud this day and enjoy sharing their achievements with everyone. May today be a memory that burns bright within them as they embark on life's further adventure as they pursue higher studies. Make them channels of your blessings and instruments of your grace. Bless our time together. Be with us. Glorify yourself through us. 
for we ask these blessings in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Now I will call Adya S. Yadav to welcome the gathering. Dear Principal, Vice Principal, Chief Guest and Parents, a warm welcome to one and all present here. The Kindergarten Graduation 2023, the most awaited time of the year. We are glad to celebrate our great day with you today. Hope you have a wonderful time. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. We will call upon Anika and Arishu Sunil to read from the word of God. The Bible reading for today is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 121. I lift up my eyes to the mountain. Where does my help come from? My help come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day nor the wood by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. The Lord will Watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Here ends the Bible reading. Praise be to God. Thank you, Anika Anshu. A day without prayer is a day without blessing. And a life without prayer is a life without power. Now, Driti Jaka will lead us in prayer. Jesus, we thank you for this blessed day. We praise you for all your blessings which you showered upon us. Lord, bless our graduation program. We also ask you to bless our school and our dear principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavinia Mitterin, Vice Principal, our Chief Guest, parents, teachers, and all my graduate friends. We praise you once again. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Driti. A special song from the choir. It's a tribute to our wonderful and beautiful teachers. You are the reason I am here.
our principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitran, to kindly come and introduce our chief guests, the dignitaries, and welcome the gathering. A very good morning to our chief guest, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, members of the Board of Management, members of the Executive Committee, staff, parents, and my graduating little Catonians of 2023. Today is a very special day as we celebrate two years of formal schooling of our little ones. Joining school can either be exhilarating or traumatic. Fortunately for you and for us, these little ones settled down quickly because they did not come to the school for LKG, only UKG, they were here. Even though they spent that one year at home, I am sure they were able to make up for all they had lost. And development of all the skills, they are all enhanced as they interact with their peers in this one year. And the two years, I can say, they could finish in one year of the kindergarten. At this moment, I would like to welcome our chief guest, Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna, the president of the Women's Fellowship of the Church of South India Synod level under the Karnataka Central Diocese. Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna was the former principal of Bishop Cotton Women's Christian College. And during her dynamic leadership, the college rose to greater heights. It was during her tenure, the postgraduate courses were introduced in the college. She is an efficient administrator endowed with rich and diverse experience in India and abroad and with a distinguished academic record. She also carries a rich teaching experience of more than three decades. She has presented and published various papers on women, modern trends in education, and women as pace setters in higher education, to mention a few in national and international journals. She has presently submitted her doctoral thesis on the topic, Peace Studies, a thorough research on the Arab-Jew conflict. Professor Ms. Esther Prasanna is multi-talented, blessed with a powerful singing voice. <clears throat> she has compiled the St. John's Hymnal out of her own interest and has written books on family values. Professor Esther Prasanna Kumar, she has served on various boards and committees, attended numerous seminars and workshops on women's issues and literature. Her areas of interest are sports, dramatics, traveling, and music. And she is extensively involved in counseling as well. A dynamic principal, a perfectionist, systematic and hardworking. She has excellent organizational skills. We are indeed privileged to have Professor Mrs. Esther Prasanna as the chief guest for this kindergarten graduation. Madam, on behalf of the entire Catonian family, we welcome you for this graduation ceremony. I call upon the kindergarten girls to honor our chief guest. Thank you, girls. I warmly welcome Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar, Secretary of the Karnataka Central Diocese, Vice Chairman of the Board of Management of our school, and Precipitator in charge of St. Mark's Cathedral. Pastor, we thank you for invoking God's blessings on this UKG graduation. We warmly welcome you, Pastor.
we acknowledge the presence of the members of the executive committee we we have with us reverend theodore williams member of the executive committee vice chairman of the board of management of cathedral school and presbyter in charge of all saints church pastor we welcome you we have with us mr jay chandran member of the executive committee and the treasurer of bishop cotton boys school acknowledge the presence of the members of the board of management we have with us our treasurer mr vinod dasan thank you mr vinod dasan for your presence we warmly welcome you we have with us mr george mohan member of the board of management we welcome you mr george mohan we have with us mrs aishwarya anil member of the board of management thank you mrs aishwarya for making it possible to attend this program <clears throat> thank you girls thank you parents you have entrusted your precious little ones to our care we can't tell you how much we appreciate that trust and we thank you for sharing your children with us we thank you for allowing us to be part of your family with your children during this time and now kindergarten is over they are going to the junior school they are going to embark on a new educational journey children the ukg children will miss you in the kindergarten department as you go to the junior school at the same time i'd like to thank the teachers today thank you teachers for your dedication to these children and to their families also <laughs> thank you parents thank you for your planning for this graduation and how much time you have invested in these little ones lives i would like to end my welcome address with a note to the girls stand tall and be proud be yourself always believe in yourself you are amazing start to be great congratulations to all the ukg children may you grow from strength to strength thank you next dextrorsum next sinistrorsum thank you ma'am you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great Now we have our proud graduates on stage. I'm privileged to call upon the little Cottonians graduating from Upper Kindergarten Section A, accompanied by their class teachers, Mrs. Selva Kumari Jona and Mrs. Subhashini, Niyati G, N Lakshya, Akshara A C. Adya S Yadav, Saniha Nandish, Tamilini, Mariam Siddiqui, Anvi S, Sudeeksha M H, Anaya Nidumanda, Disha B, Aiza Shiraz, Vaishnavi Chawla, Raghavi Rajeshwari Bikram, Mrinal Vaibhav Divangin, Mayra Yasir Panaisha A Surana Aditi B Ayer Amina Sharif Inara Shahid Sharif AD Varnika Arvika Oswal Yashika Gottam Lekhana Re Jiana Matthew M Dia Rao Parinita Pavan Joanna Tafila Robinson 
शरण्या शेखर फियोना विलियम्स आद्रिजा बासक क्रिशा सफा मारियम शरीफ सिद्धि भंडारी मायशा अली आर वी डी कदम एस शिलो जेबिसा धन्या एवलिना एवलिन आराध्या पुरोहित टियारा जॉन एंड्रिया लॉरेंस सैम जेन यालिनी छवि बी डीना एड्रियल एम विदिशा जेन अमल अबिद हुसैन परिणिता भंडारी इकरा समिता राघवेंद्र रुध्यांशी पिल्ले रिशा हरीश एंड बुविता Our principal will lead the graduating students to take the oath. Oath. I am a kindergarten student. I am a kindergarten student. I am unique and special. I am unique and special. I promise to obey. The rules of the school. The rules of the school. And respect one another. And respect one another. I'll always be disciplined. I'll always be disciplined. And make my school proud. And make my school proud. So help me God. So help me God. Next extortion. Next extortion. Next sinistrotsum. The students will present a special song Sing high sing low sing absolutely everywhere i go kindergarten experiences good morning and welcome everyone i am 
Ayana from UKGA. I'm very glad to share my experience as we end this wonderful year. I'm grateful for my teachers, Mrs. Jonah and Mrs. Subhashini, for the love and patience they have shown to all of us. I've made many good friends with whom I enjoy learning, playing, and doing all my activities. Lastly, I would like to do like to thank my parents who have always supported and encouraged me in everything I do. All the best to my fellow graduates and thank you everyone for making this day extra special. Neck dextrosum, next to nestrosum. I call upon our principal to hand over the certificates to the graduating students. All students will receive their mementos from their respective class teachers. Thank you, ma'am. Please give a big hand to the graduating students of Upper Kindergarten Section A as they move out. Janice P from Upper KGC section will tell the memory verses for every letter of the alphabets. Good morning everyone. I'm Janice from Upper KGC. There is something special from the Bible for you today. I have memory verses for every letter of the alphabet. I'm sure you will be greatly encouraged. Praise the Lord. A, as for God, his ways is perfect. B, be strong, courageous, God is with you. C, cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. D, delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you desires of your heart. E, every good and perfect gift is from above. F, for nothing impossible with God. G, God is love. H, honor your father and your mother. I have written your words in my heart so that I might not sin against God. J, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and the life. K, keep your lips from speaking lies. I love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul and strength. M, my help comes from the Lord. Yeah, nothing can separate us from God's love. Oh, oh, Lord, my God, I will give you thanks forever. P, praise the Lord. Q, quietness and trust is your, is your strength. Our rejoice in the Lord always. S. Surely God is my help. 
ಭಕ್ತಿ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಫೌಂಟನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿ ವಿತ್ ಗಾಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೇನ್ ದ ವಿಟ್ರಿ ಡಬ್ಲ್ಯೂ ಒನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅಫ್ರೈಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಟ್ರಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಯು ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ವೈ ಯು ಆರ್ ದ ಲೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಝಿ ಝಿಯೋನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಜರ್ಸಸ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು Thank you, Janice, for that wonderful verses from the Bible. And the hall was absolutely quiet while the girl was telling the verses. I take this opportunity to announce the arrival of Upper KG Section B, accompanied by the class teachers, Mrs. Grace Manuel and Mrs. Reshma. Diya Todarwal, Debangshi Das, Falak Beg, Kaira Keshwani, Stella L. Nadin, Arna Niharika B, Adhya V. Ayer, Arva Ruman, Punarvi S, Naira V, Sanvi A. V, Tiffany Crystal, Akshara Mandiyam, Trishika B, A. Aisha Naushin, Manvi Jain, Chehek Jain, Eera Raguram, Sansa Bagmane, Johanna Dawson, Navya B. Nair, S. Hasna, Adhya Baderia, Vaishnavi, Sasha Siddharth Shankar, Yuvani Jain, Ayana Samir, Siya Purohit, Omro, Angel Meena Narayan, Nishita Yadav, Lasya D, Cheryl Angel, Liana, Meena Sigapi, Gita Shree Gasan B, Krisha Bandari, Anaira K, Chauhan, Vidmaya Anil Kumar, Jennifer S, Adora Brilni Paul, Saina Sahu, Malak Shahid, Anika Anshu Sunil, Humaira Fatima, Emily Susan Koshi, Tanisha Sinha, Tarani E, Deetya Naveen Mediga, Caitlin Chinova Christi, Barira Mansoor Sayed, R.V. Purohit. Now, the class will take the oath. kindergarten student i am a kindergarten student i am unique and special i am unique and special i promise to obey i promise to obey the rules of the school the rules of the school and respect one another and respect one another i'll always be disciplined i'll always be disciplined and make my school proud and make my school proud so help me god so neck dextrorsum neck dextrorsum neck sinistrorsum neck sinistrorsum now they will sing for you gaate hai bajate hai Parents please be seated
Miss Humaira Fatima to share her experience at the kindergarten. Good morning, everyone. My name is Humaira Fatima. I am from UKG B section. I am six years old. My teachers, Grace Ma'am, Sheila Ma'am, and Reshma Ma'am, love me, takes care of me. I thank them for their guidance, support, and patience. Learning English, Math, EVS, and Hindi was very interesting and fun. I made a lot of new friends. I love to play with my friends in the playpen. I enjoyed practicing for the sports day and graduation day program. I am sure we as a class miss our teachers and our kindergarten block. I thank God for blessing me and my friends. Thank you. Nick Dextrosim, Nick Sinistrosim. Now, I request our principal to give away the graduation certificates. Humera Fatima will receive the memento on behalf of the class. Thank you, ma'am. Parents, kindly be seated, please. It's a request. Thank you. Please give a big hand to the graduating students of Upper Kindergarten, Section B, as they move out. Thank you, girls. Parents, a small request. Ariana Nayar, Samuel from UKGD will sing Over the Rainbow. Behind me, where 
troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops. That's where you find me. Somewhere over the rainbow, blue bird fly. Bird fly over the rainbow. Why then? Why? Can't I? If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh why can't I? Here comes the next class, Upper KG C, all in smiles. Watch them make the smart entry, led by their class teachers, Mrs. Violet Paul and Mrs. Sharmila David, Renet Paul M, Brunya A, Melina Jasmine P, Nakshita Srivatsav, Abigail Elena A, Amelia Charlton Sampson, Siana Sharon, Gargi Sumant, Meghana Madhavan, Nidhi Rahul, Driti Jakar, Zwaina Ashwak, Tanishka Rishikesh, Roxan Mike, Iliani Gopalakrishnan, Sanvi DK, Joanna Kroslin M, Liana Trixie, Hima Naika S, Anika Dube, Elena Saha, Driti Ram Reddy, Viha Suresh, Evita Zoe Andrew, Samra Fatima, Shanvi V, Ira A.S., Aliana Chowdhury, Kruti Jane, Ira Mariam, Grahita Mila, Janice P., Ira Atikni, Maria Makri, Chrislyn Jesslyn A., Nathania Aradhana S. Williams, Trishika G.V., Saida Khadija Zahir, Myra Kanyal, R. Aradhana, Asra Samir, Ziba Sultani, Dia Jain, Manuela Hope Manuel, Adriel Scarlet A., and Samaira Sunil. Now the class will take the oath. Oath. I am a kindergarten student. I am a kindergarten student. I am unique and special. I promise to obey. I promise to obey the rules of the school. The rules of the school and respect one another. And respect one another. I'll always be disciplined. I'll always be disciplined and make my school proud. And make my school proud. So help me God. So help me God. Next dextrosum. Next dextrosum. Next sinistrosum. Next sinistrosum. The students will present a special song, I Hear the Pit Pit Patter of the Raindrops.
we have Nia Pratyush Miglani to speak about her experience in kindergarten. Morning to one and all present here. Today I want to share a few things with you all. My teachers, Mrs. Violet Paul and Mrs. Shamila David. They are very kind and always smiling and teach us new things every day and make us laugh a lot. I have many friends in my school and I love them a lot. We sing our prayers together, eat together, play together and learn together. My school, my teachers, my friends are the best. Proud to be a Katonian. Next extrosum, next extros. May I request our principal to give away the graduation certificates? Now, Nia Pratyush Nimigilani will receive the memento on behalf of the entire class. Thank you, ma'am. Give a big hand to the graduating students of Upper Kindergarten C as they move out. I'm from UKGB section. I'm going to sing a song for you, so sit back and enjoy.
wonderful singing. I am glad to welcome the bold and beautiful girls of section Upper KGD, led by their class teachers, Mrs. Marina Rupa and Mrs. Priya Simon. Isa Chand, Onashri J, Shreshta, Janavi H. Reddy, Anika Jane, Shiza Fatima. Ariana Nair Samuel, Audrey Anna Samuel, Justine Pearl, Rida Fatima, Zoha Ibrahim, Sarah Ahmed Sayeda, Arti Kumaran, W. Veronica Jesse, Anya Mohib, Shania Ravindra Bhatt, Samara Hasif, Myra Zahir Ahmed, Fiona Adlin Nyana Danvi. Chaturvi Girish, Diksha Mohan, Edith Samantavi, Ayman Fatima, Rutmika H, Nitila Babu, Asta M, Kadicha, Sanmita Vinay S, Veronica Moses, Angeline Arthur, Amelia Iris S, Viviana Moses, Sayada Amina, Dakshani, Aditi Pani, Sanvi Manjanath, Linisha Rajesh, Rachel A, Tanvi Paduchari, and Kaira Kher. Now the class will take the oath. Oath. I am a kindergarten student. I am a kindergarten student. I am unique and special. I am unique and special. I promise to obey. I promise to obey the rules of the school. The rules of the school. And respect one another. And respect one another. I will always be disciplined. I will always be and make my school proud. And make my school proud. So help me God. So help me God. Nek dextrorsum. Nek dextrorsum. Nek sinistrorsum. Nek sinistrorsum. Smiles can take you miles. We have a special song from our children. Have you got the sunshine smile? to speak about our experiences in kindergarten. Good morning everyone. 
today I would like to Good morning everyone. Today I would like to recite a poem for all of you. For all the patients, day to day, for every tear, you wipe away. For little hands, you gently hold. For all the stories, you have told. For your tender heart and your wisdom that you impart. For teaching us how to share and being kind and being fair. For all the sweet things that you do to help us all year through. We are grateful and will always be. I love you teachers and I miss you a lot. I would like to share my experience of being a kindergarten graduate. Being a Catonian bestowed me with the qualities of kindness, compassion and discipline. As much as it was fun playing in the playpen, so were the classroom studies. Our teachers added a sparkling moment to everything we did. We had many important events throughout the year and we were always motivated to showcase our talent. Our teachers, Mrs. Marina, Mrs. Subhasni and Mrs. Priya laid a strong foundation for the upcoming years. We thank God for everything and hope to shine like stars throughout our life. Thank you. Next Xrosim, next Nestrosim. May I request our principal to give away the graduation certificates. Thank you, ma'am. Now, Kyra Kerr will receive the mementos on behalf of the entire class. Thank you, ma'am. Give up. Moiz Durani Arudra Dushyant. Ashvi Kaushik, Mayra Kashyap, Hurain Asneen, Nirvi Shekar Gwankar, Risha A. Gauda, Shriya S. Shetty, Amina Aliza, Rafa Taj, Advika Vipin Hatmode, Niana D. Miraya Mudde Gowder, Zahara Kualili, Viba Pratap Menon, Edna Esther Edu, Che Niranjana, Krisha S. V., Adina Fatima, Inaya Fatima, Alpha Abigail, S. Shashvita, M. Ashi Elohi, Charvi, Pamela Catherine, and Sanvi Warrior. May I request our principal to lead the graduating students to take their oath. Oath. I am a kindergarten student. I am unique and special. I am unique and special. I promise to obey. I 
the rules of the school and respect one another I will always be disciplined and make my school proud. So help me God. Neck dextrorsum. Neck sinistrorsum. Fly like an eagle, run like a deer, and shine like stars. Now we will listen to their song, When We Walk With Jesus. Prashant will now share our experiences of kindergarten. I am Adya Prashant. Good morning, dear principal, vice principal, chief guest, parents, and my dear friends. I am Adya Prashant from UKG E section. Today is a special day for all of us. I would like to speak a few lines on behalf of my friends. Today is a special day for all of us. I would like to speak a few lines on behalf of my friends. We enjoyed the kindergarten years. We sang, we danced, we acted. And we did role plays. We enjoyed our kindergarten years. We sang, we danced, we acted, and we learned. We did, we did role plays, and we learned a lot from our LKG and UKG teachers. Our teachers did not just teach. Our teachers inspired us to learn. Do you know this? We graduated from writing alphabets to writing compositions. We are a class apart, but not just little cotonians, but proud little cotonians. Did you watch us walk with pride? I'm sure you did. Now we will continue to march forward with a school motto, Nick Dextrosum, Nick Sinistrosum. Thank you. Request our principal to kindly come up on stage to give away the graduation certificates.
Aadya Prashant will now receive the memento on behalf of the class. All students will receive their mementos from their respective class teachers. Thank you ma'am. Sanvi Wadia from UKGE will share her experience. Good morning, respected principal, vice principal, teachers, parents and all my dear friends. I am Sanvi Wadia from UKGE and it is my honor to speak on behalf of all the children of graduating class 22-23. We are gathered here to celebrate the end of an adventure before we take our next big step into the world. Our journey had a more special start because our first classrooms were our homes itself as we attended online classes. We finally met all our friends this year on this beautiful campus. We studied many lessons in English, mathematics, languages, and also enjoyed coloring. But my favorite time was in the playpen. We had many exciting events such as March past for sports day, Christmas party with Santa Claus, and even celebrated our Independence Day. All of this helped us with our mental, physical, and social skills. Our teachers made these lessons interesting and a lot of fun. They always encouraged us to believe in ourselves and do our best. We are grateful to you and will miss you all. We are grateful to our loving parents who are supportive and kind. Finally, to my classmates, I am glad we are each other's first set of school friends and hope we continue this friendship. They say child is the father of man. What we learn today, we become tomorrow. So thank you for teaching us our very first lessons. Today, we celebrate the children who promise to create a better tomorrow. I am one of them too. Happy graduation day. Next takes blossom, next finish blossom. Thank you. Thank you, Sanvi. We call upon Mrs. Revati KP, an old Cotonian and a parent to share her experience. Good morning, respected principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, our chief, honorable chief guest, Esther Prasanna, ma'am and dignitaries, parents, teachers, and my dear children. 20 years ago, I would have never imagined to stand on this podium. It brings back found memories. So thank you so much, ma'am, for giving me this honor. And I would especially like to thank our principal, Lavanya, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, Stanley, ma'am, as well as Shiny, ma'am, for giving me this opportunity to share my experience over the past two years at Bishop Cottons. For me, education at Bishop Cottons is fantastic. It bridges the gap between formal education as well as alternative education and not letting go of the imagination and creativity of the child. And that is amazing. For me, that is something that I admire. And as parents, we all were very concerned due to the pandemic as to how it would affect our child's education. However, it's remarkable to see what the staff here and the school has done for our little ones to see them learn so much in a short span of time. So thank you so much for that. I'm certain that most of you parents here would agree that they have seen a holistic growth and development in their daughters, not only in academics, but in extracurricular activities as well. My daughter was very shy when she started off offline classes. Now she has out of her shell, and thanks to the school indeed. And I'm certain that due to the online classes as well, which uh, included 
um, assembly, dance, singing, even exercise was taught during online classes. This helped them come out of their shell. My journey so far at Cotton's has been great. My daughter loves to go to school. Every day she wants to go to school and to meet her teachers and friends. And she comes back home smiling. Now that is a reflection of her happiness. Thanks to the teachers, the management, and for all their hard work and dedication, for which we are always very grateful. To see our little ones take an oath to serve the school as well as the society is emotionally overwhelming. I hope the opulence of this event stays and warms our hearts and stays and the magic stays rather for weeks and days to come. So I take this opportunity to congratulate the graduates, uh, the kindergarten graduates of class 23 and wish them all the very best for their future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful ex experience in Cottons. Good morning, everyone. My dear upper KG friends, don't think it is a last goodbye. We'll see you soon. Make your beginnings an art and make the ending a great start. All the best for Standard 1. We will miss you in the kindergarten block. We love you. Thank you. Thank you, Rakshita. Now we have a dance performance from Lower KG students. Up with it, girl. Rock with it, girl. See Show ya. them it, girl. But a bang, bang. Bunks with it, girl. Dance with it, girl. Get with it, girl. But a bang, bang. Come on, come on. Turn the radio on. It's Friday night and I won't be long. Gotta do my hair. Put my makeup on.
Hare ding 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 for that wonderful performance. Parents, let us give a big round of applause. We now request our chief guest, Professor Esther Prasanna to address the gathering. Have you got the sunshine smile? Kiddos, I want to tell you, what else do you expect from us after this beautiful, beautiful performance and presenting graduates of the kindergarten? Congratulations, wish you all the best. What a culture we've moved into. Bishop Cotton Girls School has given such an impetus to our little, little darlings. I wish they were all here. I could give them all a huge big hug and a kiss. So carry it from the chief guest to your little kiddos and pass on this embrace of love, of goodwill and congratulations for a great, great future. I'm sure after 10 years you will remember this day too. When, you, when your little kiddos will come in their graduating saris. <laughs> it's a time to remember. I bring greetings to all present here. Good morning. We are still not, we have not touched 12. Good morning and welcome to this delightful kindergarten graduation. My sincere thanks to the principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, for having welcomed me so warmly to witness the first step that these little angels are taking for a bright tomorrow. I bring greetings to all the executive members present here and to the members of the board of management, the parents, the teachers, and of course, I've already given my hugs to my little darlings. I bring greetings to all the dear parents. You're so excited. Uh, let you go, you would have danced with the little kids on stage. Because you're, uh, you're still very young. We belong to the next generation. So you have made it to this stage, watching your tiny tots opening from buds to blossoms. It is indeed a moment of joy when your heart skips a beat, I can understand. Recalling how those infant days, actually you've missed one year because of uh, COVID. And um, after 20 years, these children will say, the first day of school I started in front of a computer or a laptop. You know, that's how uh, my granddaughter also says. So. Uh, it is indeed a moment of joy when you can see them stand for themselves, you know, so confidently marching up to the stage. So can we give a loud cheer to our little blossoms once again? We have clapped enough this morning. It's good exercise, you know, it's good exercise for your muscles, for your heart. So your children have given you good exercise this morning. We place importance and regards, remember, to our great designers of these young ones, our kindergarten teachers, who have done an amazing job of helping them 
to look at the world with new eyes and have laid the foundation of the alphabets, numbers, on which their life will revolve in the years to come. They, need a, they deserve a loud round of applause. Our teachers, their mentors. I'm sure the kindergarten children will return on their graduation day in 10th and 12th back to the teachers. If you have not retired, come back and say a big thank you to you. In the words of the child, you know, time flies. In the words of a child, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. So these words reveal the child's inner needs. Creating a caring community of learners is what is being done in this beautiful campus. Creating a community in which each child feels safe, that's very important. That is why you've entrusted your little ones in this campus to the safekeeping of teachers and the management. The child feels safe and welcome. The schedule, routines, classroom design, and teaching approach are all tools to help create the caring community. There is a two-way approach. You know, I headed an institution in uh, the Noah's Ark Nursery in Abu Dhabi. And I always told my parents when they came for the PTAs that it is a two-way approach. You know, the culture there was very different. Once they sent the children to school, they thought it was the sole responsibility of the, of the teachers to take care of the children. Nothing was so much done at home. But I instructed them that it is a two-way approach the parent-teacher learning. So the teacher and the parent, they enhance the development and learning. I'm giving you a few reminders, not that you don't know, but just a few reminders over, over time, experience, and learning. Since all children appreciate positive attention from adults, acknowledge their personhood through regular observations, and by paying attention to what they say, do, say and do. You know, parents are quite anxious. I have my daughter too, who has two kids here. And I know from the time they come back from school, the bags are open, they look at the books, what did your teacher do, what have you got to do tomorrow, they get quite anxious. Let me tell you one thing. Remember that you are, you are a powerful model, a role model in the lives of your young children. So your own attitudes count, the way you approach learning and problem solving. It's very important. The child is a quiet observer of parent relationship. Don't worry that children never listen to your teaching sometimes. Worry that they are always watching you. The father and the mother, your relationships, how you approach each other, the family, the home, is the first place where the child learns. Create a happy atmosphere for them at home. Even if you have differences, if you have hard conversations, not in front of the children. Create a happy atmosphere for them at home as much as it is done in school, you know. They have a beautiful, lovely atmosphere here. When they are back at home, a happy atmosphere still continues. Professor Kluver says this, you know what your child is capable of, but if you ask for the impossible, they are going to fail. The next step I want to remind you is when children are fidgety, when your child is being difficult, how, you, how do you distract them with a more positive activity? When you distract them towards something else by changing the topic, introducing a game, leading them into another room or going for a walk, 
you can successfully divert their energy towards positive behavior. Parents should behave like friends with children. You need to get down to that level, sit down with them, do the building blocks, do the jigsaw puzzle, take them out, take the bath, play. You, this is exactly what builds up your relationship. And the child has a lot of confidence in the parents. This is only for a period of time. Sometimes timing is crucial, you know, when you distract a child, when it is fidgety. It is about spotting when things are about to explode, going wrong, taking the wrong direction. Being mindful of when your child is starting to become fidgety, so irritable or annoyed, or when you have two siblings, when they are eyeing the same toy, how do you diffuse this situation before it becomes explosive? There's a new method which many parents adopt to distract the child. To allow the child to be on his own and not to trouble the parents. By giving the unhealthy toy, adult toy, of a mobile phone. This only shuts down his mind and watches the operation of another brain in progress. This becomes a habit and an addiction. Parents, do be cautious about these children because they need to grow stage by stage. Do not make them adults before time. Always conscious, be conscious about the do's and the don'ts. I, ex I saw a little child, you know, um, maybe a child who was preschool or LKG. They walked into a restaurant and they were seated at a table, I was at the other table. The child from the time he came and he was holding the mobile phone of his mother. And when they sat down, the food was served on the plate. The child was still watching the mobile. The mother had to force him to eat. The food went into the mouth, but he didn't know what was going in because he was still at the mobile. Phones. You know, your children can lose their health because of it. Be conscious about the do's and the don'ts. They must learn to take no for an answer. You may have everything you can provide, but children cannot be provided with everything very early in life. They need to take no for an answer. So these are the values that are inculcated in life very early. Part of growing up is learning that if you do something, you talk to them. You know, a lot of talking has to be done these days because children do understand. When they do something, there is also a result. They need to understand that. So defining this for your child is a simple process that encourages better behavior while teaching them about responsibility. Give your child a chance to do the right thing by explaining the consequences of their bad behavior. As an example, if you want to stop your child scribbling on the walls, you know, this is, uh, you find a lot of graffiti on your walls. <clears throat> Many homes have it. So that is an indication you have little kids at home. You cannot stop it, but you can talk to them. You can tell them to stop. Maybe you can uh, say you will stop their playtime, or you will give an, an incentive, or you'll take them out. So you need to calm the child's mind. If your child gets worked up easily and is prone to temper tantrums, try to relax it. You know, if you uh, shout at the top of your voice, it's not going to help at all. You need to be calm. Ask him to sit near you and read a story. You do all that I know. Or play some calming music. Put on some of your kid's favorite music to help improve his mood. Sometimes just sitting near your kid, putting your arms around his shoulder, connecting with him will make him feel better. So it will make him listen to you. Planning your time is the most important way to handle children giving them the attention that is required. When they need to communicate with you, 
do not indulge in long phone talks. You are young people, you have a lot of friends, young parents, you have your work, you communicate a lot with others, but when your children are around, when they need your attention, don't indulge in long phone talks. Because when you do not respond, and they need to tell you something, they often get frustrated. And what do they do? They end up in trouble. And then you will tell the person on the other end, uh, I'll get back to you later. I have an emergency. Take time to listen to whatever it is your kids want to tell you. Talk to them. Stop what you're doing and really engage with them. Try getting down to their level. <clears throat> Make eye contact. Put away your cell phone and hear what they're saying. It may be uh, nothing at all at the end of it, but you need to. Your kids will feel valued and communication with you, between you and them can improve. If your child has a hard time talking or describing things, you always ask open-ended questions which will make them to talk, come out with many things. At times, you may need to demonstrate. You pick up a game and play with them, as I told you. And then you can give them extra bonus of hugs and kisses. Remember one thing. As your children grow up, they might withdraw from physical demonstrations. So make the best use of it in the early years, which builds a closeness with the parent that can never be taken away. Don't maintain distance, and especially now. This is, these are the formative years. Always applaud them for what they have done. Do not criticize or use negative tone on them. They, they may not take criticism so well now. They need to grow up for that. This is the age of mind building. Encourage, give attention to your children's efforts, their perseverance. Your encouragement will help children stay on track even when the work is hard. You have to give value-based praises. I like the way you did it. You're great, you know. Uh, your theme today is start to be great. So greatness comes not from the student or the child alone. It is the encouragement of the parents that makes the child great. Give, uh, you know, feedback to the child after he's done a drawing or a painting. You have to comment. Oh, you've done a wonderful job. You've done a remarkable job. So this feedback is something that they wait for. But at the end of it, remember, give yourself some space. It can be quite exhausting when you mind your kids. And if there is more than one at home, how well you divide your time is so important. When they are sleeping, do the things that you like to do, relax your mind. But when your child says, help me do it alone, never help a child with a task at which he feels he can succeed. Character formation cannot be taught. It comes from experience and not from explanation. Allow your child to try all kinds of sports, extracurricular activities, that they are intended, interested in. Encourage them to also try new things that they may not have thought about previously. It will open their minds to endless possibilities. But be careful, you don't thrust it on them. You know, sometimes you can bombard them with overwork. You like your children to get engaged in lots of activities. Sometimes too many activities which they will resent, they will become tired. You know the limits. Teach them commitment not to quit. Inspire your child to greatness from the very beginning. It is our job. Our, our children should not be pushed around. We need to provide opportunity for them and it is very important to find their hidden talents. So discover their passion, teach them commitment, 
Talk to them about role models, which is also very important. So I end with this. Teach your child the way he should go. And even in his old age, he will not depart from it. God bless you, young parents. You need a lot of orientation towards taking care of your little darlings. So God bless you. God bless Bishop Cotton Girls School, where they are going to grow, blossom, bring forth fruits, and leave a mark on this institution that the teachers will always remember and welcome them back to the institution as one of your old students who is now a parent has done. So we are uh, uh, quite old because we are receiving our students back with their little kids. So we have become ancient. Uh, God bless you and take care. Uh, not that we will see you after 10 years, but uh, you will be in and out of this institution. When, you know, when we were walking down, we saw the number of cars. You know, it was very touching, you know. The same attention that you get over the years, even for the 10th and the 12th graduation when we were here, the same numbers have come today. So it only tells how keenly, you know, we are all interested in our children's growth. God bless you and thank you for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for your inspiring talk. It is not joy that makes us great. It is gratitude that makes us joyful. I call upon Ariana Naya Samuel to deliver the word of thanks. All's well that ends well, and I'm here to do the honors with special words of thanks. Dear Principal, Vice Principal, and Chief Guest, we thank you for making us feel so special with your presence. Parents, we thank you. You watched us closely grow and grow. You are the reason behind our smiles. Teachers, we love you for all that you've done for us. You didn't just teach us, you inspired us. You are indeed our learning rock stars. More especially, we thank God for his protection and guidance. Today we feel so good. We are proud little Cotonian graduates on the brink of a new beginning. Thank you one and all for making our joy complete. Thank you. Neck deck trossum, neck sinistrossum. Thank you, Arianna. Now, I request Reverend Theodore William to kindly come and pronounce the benediction. Pray and pronounce the benediction. Let us pray. God of wisdom and knowledge, we are grateful and thankful to you for this time you have given to us, but especially to come to participate in the kindergarten graduation, to see all our little ones doing the best what has been taught for the last two years. Lord, we thank you, for it is all your grace, it is all your gift from heaven above. We very specially thank you for all the graduating little angels we thank you, Lord, for the parents who have chosen this great institution, Bishop Cotton Girls School, which stands as a witness for more than 150 years in the field of education and giving quality education to all the students in this society. We thank you, Lord, for all the children who participated in this graduation ceremony, for all the things that these people have learned and for the firm foundation laid by their teachers as they move to the next stage of the junior school, we seek your grace, your wisdom and knowledge be bestowed upon them to move on stage by stage
to become a responsible citizen of this great nation and also society. At this moment, we very specially pray for the chief guest of the day, Professor Esther Prasanna Kumar, our beloved Bishop Amma, the president of CSI Senate Women's Fellowship, the president of Women's Fellowship Karnataka Central Diocese, an educationalist, a perfectionist, and also a person who's got compassion towards education ministry. We thank you for our leadership among the children as well as the teacher and the students. Continue to bless her abundantly in the days to come. We also remember and give thanks to you for the chairman and the bishop, Right Reverend Dr. Prasenna Samuel, the Bishop of Karnataka Central Diocese, the Chairman of Bishop Cotton, Women, Bishop Cotton Girls School and all other institutions for us, untiring leadership, for us compassion, for us commitment, for us dedication to see all the institution stands as a witness in the society. We pray for the principal, Dr. Mrs. Lavanya Mitrin, for our dedication for leading this institution from the forefront, giving the best to the institution and taking the institution to the greater right, leaps and bounds. We thank you for you have chosen her to be a leader of this great institution. We pray for the Vice Chairperson, Reverend Dr. Vincent Vinod Kumar. We pray for the Treasurer, Mr. Vinod Dasan, the Board of Management. Lord, we very specially pray for the teachers who have taught these little ones and all the teachers who are teaching in Bishop Gordon Girls School for their commitment to, to teach and to the response to your call. We pray for this great institution and very specially we remember all the parents. We thank you, Lord, for it is their desire, it is their sacrifice to see their children shine brightly in this society. We know, we know for sure that you are going to lead this institution and all the teachers, all the students, the teaching and non-teaching staff, the principal and the board of management to deliver what you are expecting. We ask you, Lord, to lead this institution. Bless each and every one of them. We pray for the coordinator, Mrs. Shiny David, for our leadership in the kindergarten section and all the teachers for their untiring effort to see our little ones smile and learn. Committing all these things, we ask in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us receive God's blessing in confidence. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, sweet communion of the Holy Spirit, rest and abide with all the members of Bishop Cotton Women's, Women's, Bishop Cotton Girls School, both with the teachers and students and parents and very specially upon the principal, both now and for evermore. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Kindly stand for the National Anthem. Mana Adinayaka Jayahe, Bharat Bhagya Vidhata, Punjab Sindh Gujarat Maratha, Ravida Uttara Vanga, Vindya Himachala Yamuna Ganga, Uttara Jaladita Ranga, Tava Shubhana Me Jage. तव शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे